Hello, Fantastic Beast fans. In a recent featurette, J.K. Rowling said, whatever you think you know at the end of the movie might not be the case. In this video, I'm going to explore a couple of those possible twists. I'm Susan Shapova, Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts, to bring you the clues. Join me and other Fantastic Beast fans here on the Beast Chaser Forum as we uncover the secrets, discover what's coming first, and play along with Rowling's newest game. And make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you'll be notified when videos post and won't miss out on the next clues. This video, more than any others, comes with a serious spoiler warning. I'll be speculating about three of the final twists of the film. So please, if you don't want those kind of spoilers, do not proceed. And if you do, please be careful about how you share these theories with others. I'm freer about posting this type of spoiler on YouTube than Twitter because you must choose to watch and can't just accidentally trip over it as you scroll through your feed. Don't you love it when as soon as you post something, you immediately find out you were wrong about one point and totally missed the best clue? Well, that's what happened to me last night after posting the trailer breakdown for the Japanese international trailer. So I'm here today to right my wrongs. First, my bad. As Susan Howes at SusieNerd493 pointed out to me on Twitter, I was totally wrong about the image of the French ministry where I said it may be Tina meeting Newt for the first time. Tina is saying this to Lita. As Susie points out, Zoe Kravitz mentioned in a recent interview about using Revelio to turn a case around and reveal Newt and Tina. What's funny about this is that I even mentioned Zoe's comment in a prior tweet when it was first released. But there's been so much information coming out, I can't remember it all. Thanks, Susan, for the reminder. Next up, in the Chinese screening video, that wizard who told us that a Professor McGonagall was seen in Dumbledore's classroom when the Ministry shows up. Now we have an image to go with the character. Several high-resolution stills were released yesterday, including this one. According to at Wizard Who, this is Professor McGonagall. So what do you think? Is she Minerva's relative or a time-traveling Minerva, as I speculated in that prior video? I wish I knew more about fashion. I almost see her clothes as more 1950s than 1927, but I really don't know. Also, I've provided a link below to a thread from Universe Harry Potter on Twitter showing all the latest high-res images. One of these images shows a different view of the survivors on the bridge at Hogwarts. Rishia at Rishio Mysterium was quick to notice a bird flying away, and she speculates that it's larger than a raven and could be our phoenix, which could possibly prove my earlier theory about Lita's transformation. It definitely rules out Dumbledore as the phoenix because you can see him standing on the bridge. It's more clearly him now. Thanks so much to Rishia and her good eyesight for picking out this bird. However, in this image, we can also see that the person who I thought was Flamel is not. Toot at Potterhead220 thinks it may be Spielman. It's hard to tell for sure. However, it does open the possibility that it was Flamel transformed as a phoenix who transported them to Hogwarts rather than Lita. It would make total sense for the immortal alchemist to be a phoenix and a magus. But here's the catch I missed yesterday from the Japanese trailer that excites me the most. Thanks so much to Sky Chaser at Gallia Verona for pointing it out to me yesterday. Look at Newt's eyes as he crosses the bridge to confront Dumbledore. Don't they look remarkably similar to Grindelwald's? When Sky Chaser first pointed this out, I thought maybe it was just a trick of the shadows, and I searched out other images of Eddie Redmayne's eyes. But no, Eddie has green eyes, and they don't look like this. It's definitely Grindelwald's. So Sky Chaser then pointed out that if you watch the clip, it actually shows Newt's eyes changing. I'm going to play it for you a couple of times. It's a bit hard to see. What do you think? I'll be honest, this just totally blew me away, and I can't thank Sky Chaser enough for pointing it out to me. Could this flicker hint at what we think we know and don't? Here are my thoughts. It could be that Grindelwald is transfigured as Newt here a la Graves in order to get close to Dumbledore, 
but I'm not sure that his eyes would glitch like this with a transfiguration spell, so I'm really wondering if it's a type of possession. Do you remember that brief moment in Order of the Phoenix when Dumbledore detected the stirring of Voldemort's hatred in Harry's eyes? Could Rowling be tossing out a hint of the same at the end of Crimes of Grindelwald for Newt? In explaining his distance from Harry during the course of the year, Dumbledore says, I was sure that if he realized that our relationship was, or had ever been, closer than that of headmaster and pupil, he would seize his chance to use you as a means to spy on me. I feared the uses to which he would put you, the possibility that he might try and possess you. Harry, I believe I was right to think that Voldemort would have made use of you in such a way. On those rare occasions when we had close contact, I thought I saw a shadow of him stir behind your eyes. Are we seeing that shadow now stirring behind Newt's, except from Grindelwald? And would this show that the elder Dumbledore had reason to expect the same from Voldemort when he had experienced it before from Grindelwald? If so, Grindelwald now has a most excellent place spy. I think this possible possession could be the result of a connection forged during the magic that occurred with the beast in the cemetery. We've been speculating a lot about Grindelwald opening a portal and summoning a demon or spirit. Those invocation circles we studied in several videos all hint at demon control or possession. However, I'm also wondering if there's a connection to a final scene we've heard hinted at in rumors. Fantastic Beast costume designer Colleen Atwood mentioned in a set report that she had designed a quite unique costume for Grindelwald for the end of the film. Kelly L., in a comment on my Dark Alchemist video, wonders if Grindelwald may be seen in priest robes to do a sacrificial ceremony that we discussed as a possibility in that video. Now, I'm wondering if Grindelwald's final, private ceremony with his acolytes may be happening at the same time that Newt walks across the bridge to confront Dumbledore. If so, might the results of Grindelwald's ritual awaken the possession he has with Newt at this precise moment, which is why you see Newt's eyes flicker to Grindelwald's as he approaches Dumbledore. The grindy beast Newt now carries inside is awakened by the presence of Grindelwald's old lover and now enemy. So, what do you think? Is that Lita flying away as a phoenix or Nicholas Flamel? And with Newt's eyes, do you think Grindelwald is transformed or possessing him? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Also, please check out my new fan shop on Amazon for books and Funko Pops and wands and all things Fantastic Beasts.